And remember we talked about inherent luminosity and we talked about luminosity contrast specifically with regards to color. So I know a lot of people tend to use luminosity masks in order to address luminosity. I, I don't, I have done it in the past, but I kind of have a different technique to address luminosity. So my trick is to put a new black and white layer on. We're actually gonna set it to luminosity. And this is just set to default on the preset, but when you notice me toggling this on and off, it makes a pretty significant difference in what's actually going on. So let's, let's just kind of sit with that for a minute and see what's happening. So this is with our black and white layer off. First, I want you guys to pay attention to the yellows. And so in our default, our yellows are actually getting darker. So what we can do is, I mean, we can manipulate any one of these sliders. We can take this yellow all the way down or we could take it all the way up. Say we wanted that yellow to look really bright. And then you'll also notice that our reds, like look at the reds in the chairs, are coming up a little bit. So we can, again, kind of manipulate these sliders. And what I typically like to do is I'll start with the default and then I'll just kind of filter through the existing presets. And so this is kind of where we get into that concept of like, balancing out the luminosity contrast between colors. So for instance, if we wanted to have a lot of contrast between those yellows and those blues, we could bring that yellow up. And now it's gonna look a lot brighter compared to the rest of the scene. Same with the reds. If we want our reds and our yellows to really feel really different, we want a really deep red here, we can come down there, we can push our yellow up. And now we've created a lot more contrast in the image than we had before. See before all the inherent luminosities were a little bit closer together compared to one another. And now we've kind of pushed them apart. We've pushed the yellows up, we've pushed the reds down. And so we're creating that color contrast. So for this particular image, I actually don't mind the default. I might take it down a little bit in opacity. I might come up a little with the yellow. It's gonna be pretty subtle for this image, but that's, we'll start there. Another thing that I'm thinking about is dynamic range, and I just wanna make sure that we don't have any highlights that are clipped or too bright or shadows that are too dark. So I might come in, pull up a curves layer, let's bring it down a bit. And instead of masking that out, I like to go in and go to image, apply image. And basically what this does is it creates a luminosity map for our highlights and shadows. So everywhere where we've got a highlight, that curve is gonna apply. Everywhere we've got a shadow, that curve isn't going to apply. And then it's gonna sort of interpolate in between and apply as much or as little of that curve according to that luminosity. So as you can see, that's reducing our overall contrast in the image. It's increasing our dynamic range. It's giving us more of that painterly vibe that we're looking for. Because think about it, I mean, painters, they see the environment the way that our eye sees it, not how a camera sees it. So a camera is gonna read light in an environment. It's gonna say, well, these, these highlights are too high, I can't recognize those. These shadows are too dark, I can't recognize those. It just sets them to either black or white and calls it a day. But our eye has a little bit more capacity to see the nuance. And so what I'm doing here and what painters can do with, with their paint is sort of cheat that and make it look like our eye. It can bring in more detail into those highlights and shadows. So when we talk about getting that painterly feel, that is really kind of what I'm focusing on in my image is just making sure we have enough of that dynamic range. So we still get a lot of nice, uh, nice contrast between highlights and shadows, but nothing's clipped like you would see in a camera.